Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing an unboxing of my dream bag. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So if you wanna see me unbox my dream bag, then let's get started. Okay guys, so this box is really big and yes, I did get my dream bag back in December. However, I haven't even used or opened it. Um, it's just been a while and I thought why not make a video it is such a beautiful bag and the way it's just packaged and wrapped as well so I got this bag back in December like I just said and it actually wasn't my first choice of bag to go with I was looking at another bag but then this one just came to be when I saw it in the store so it's obviously still wrapped in the foam. So just to give you a little bit of context and exactly what the bag is. So I'm just gonna quickly unwrap the bag from the foam so you guys can see. Okay, so I quickly unwrapped the bag and this is my new bag. This is the YSL Sac de Jour bag in baby size so it's not the largest it's not the smallest it's the middle size and the color is dark beige um so i did get a little bit more of like a taupey color ideally it was between this and black but i just feel like i have a lot of black bags and this was just like a perfect color that i really feel you can wear all year round summer fall spring and yeah i just was so excited when i saw this bag and it looks like a perfect everyday bag. I will take out the um, paper that it is stuffed with just to show you guys the exact size of the bag, what it can really fit. So as you see here, it does come with the two handles along with a strap. So you can wear it as a crossbody bag. I think I'll like it more as, actually I don't know, I do like, the handles that come with this bag. I think it's just, it looks like such a classic bag. Um, well, I know a lot of celebrities have this bag and I just think like it's so minimalistic, but it's so beautiful. So if we look inside the bag, we can kind of see, um, it is pretty deep. It's a fairly large, uh, larger size bag. And then in the middle, there is also a pocket that is zipped. So I do like the structure of the bag. There's also some keys. I think there's a lock on this bag somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's in here. Uh, so yeah, there's like a little, little lock here as well, which is so cute. Um, I do have another YSL bag, but I haven't made a video on it. This one was just screaming my name when I saw it at the store, so I did buy it in Toronto um, at their Bloor store location. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else in here, but that's pretty much the bag. What I'm going to show you is also what can fit in the bag just so you guys get a little bit of an idea of how much it can fit. So I do have my uh, Chloe wallet so that can fit inside no problem and then just like a bunch of miscellaneous things like I have a lot of lipsticks, my comb, I can put that easily in here. Literally, this bag can fit a lot. I like it because it's not too big of a tote. I think it's the perfect size. My car keys, so I can fit that in the little slim pocket there. And you can literally see I have so much room still left in this bag. So I think it's gonna be a really great, it can be a really great everyday bag. Like I said, it comes with a lot of colors. So I am gonna read you guys exactly what it's made out of because I. I know it's leather, but I don't know what type of leather. So yeah, I mean, I think this is gorgeous. I don't really have anything like this in terms of color. So I'm excited to wear it for this upcoming season. I was treasuring it until I got to make this video. So if any of you were wondering, you know, how this bag looks before purchasing, I think it is, it is such a beautiful bag. Of course, I will put it to the test and wear it because I love to do my good old bag wear test. I will be a bit more careful with this one because it is a bit more on the pricier side. I don't buy bags like this every month. <laughs> this was a real treat for myself. So I know I've been doing a lot of videos on Marc Jacobs, Troy Birch, which I love those bags, but this was something that I was really looking forward to and just had my eyes on. Um, like I've seen it before, so when I walked into the store, like I said, I was I had more of 
a vision to getting a different bag, but then when I saw this one, I was like, it's a done deal. It's a classic. It's an original for YSL. So on the YSL website, the bag is spacious and suede lined. Um, features two compartments separated by a zipped pocket, which is what I just um, showed you guys. It is so suede lining, organic cotton lined pocket, light bronze brass hardware, the detachable padlock in the leather case, which we saw. So it is calfskin leather and it is obviously made in Italy. So because it is calfskin, I do think it's it does feel a little bit of a softer leather, but this is really sturdy. Like if I'm comparing it to like a Tory Burch, this um, I can tell is a little bit of a better quality. It's not as soft. Um, there is some sturdiness to it, which I like. Like I mentioned, I do have another YSL bag and it does hold up pretty well against scratches and um, it's, it's a bit more durable, but yes, we're comparing um, a designer, a well-known designer bag um, to another brand. And like I said, this will definitely be one of my new everyday bags. I just think it is so adorable. It can fit so much. Nothing's gonna get crammed and it just looks so classy, like so spacious, especially in the baby size. So like I said, this is the middle size. There is the nano and then there is the small. I did see the nano in store um, before agreeing to go with the bigger size. Uh, the reason I didn't do the nano, it was just a little too small for me. I just um, like how this one gives me a little bit more space. Um, and then the small also was a little bit of a bigger size. However, it had a little bit of a heftier price tag. Um, so this was like a nice in between um, both bags. Like I said, this is definitely not something I buy every day. So it was really nice to, you know, um, get something that I think I will make great use of. And I can't wait to provide you guys with an update. So yeah, um, if you do have this bag, please let me know what you guys think about it, how it wears. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts. And that's basically all I have for this video. I know it's quick, but really just an easy unboxing to show you guys the bag. I will definitely make another video in a few weeks just to kind of let you guys know how the bag's doing and holding up. But that's all I have for you guys right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.